Architecture Sourcebook by Russell Sturgis, A Literary Analysis Russell Sturgis, a prominent architectural historian, author, and critic, published Architecture Sourcebook in 1969. This seminal work provides readers with a comprehensive exploration of architectural history and theory. Sturgis's text is an invaluable resource for those seeking a deep understanding of architectural evolution, encompassing a range of styles, materials, and cultural contexts. Sturgis presents his material in a narrative style that is both engaging and informative. He structures his sourcebook in a logical and chronological manner, making it accessible to both experts and laypersons interested in architecture. The book unfolds as a journey through time and space, tracing the development of architectural thought and practice from ancient civilizations to the modern era. One of the book's strengths is its ability to engage readers by presenting architectural concepts in a relatable and tangible way. Sturgis blends historical context with vivid descriptions, allowing readers to visualize the spaces, structures, and designs of different periods. This approach is not just informative, it's also immersive, making readers feel as though they are traveling through time and witnessing the evolution of architectural paradigms. The author's deep knowledge of architecture is evident throughout the book. Sturgis demonstrates a profound understanding of architectural principles, often delving into technical details. This level of expertise adds depth to the text, making it a valuable resource for architects, historians, and students of architecture. Sturgis seamlessly weaves historical insights with architectural theory, providing a holistic perspective on the subject. Moreover, Architecture Sourcebook excels in its coverage of architectural styles from various regions and epochs. Sturgis explores the architecture of ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome, giving readers a rich understanding of how architectural forms evolved within these cultures. He delves into the intricacies of Gothic and Renaissance architecture, offering detailed explanations of their unique characteristics and the socio-cultural influences that shaped them. This comprehensive approach allows readers to connect the dots between different architectural periods and better appreciate the broader narrative of architectural history. Sturgis's writing style is eloquent and evocative. He has the ability to paint pictures with words, bringing architectural masterpieces to life. For example, when describing the grandeur of the Parthenon, he writes, The Parthenon stands, one of the proudest monuments of Athens' glory, still bright, for all its long story of ill usage and ill weathering, with the bloom of youth, with its keen and delicate outlines. Such descriptions not only educate but also inspire a profound appreciation for the architectural wonders of the past. The book's illustrations and photographs further enhance the reader's experience. While Sturgis's descriptions are vivid, the visual aids make it easier to grasp architectural concepts. The inclusion of drawings, plans, and photographs provides a tangible connection to the buildings and structures discussed. This visual dimension is crucial in a subject as visual as architecture, enabling readers to better understand and appreciate the nuances of design and construction. Despite its many strengths, Architecture Sourcebook does have some limitations. The book, originally published in 1969, lacks coverage of architectural developments in the latter half of the 20th century and beyond. The field of architecture has continued to evolve, with new materials, technologies, and design philosophies emerging. Thus, this book serves as an excellent foundation for architectural history but should be complemented with more recent sources to provide a complete picture of the discipline's contemporary landscape. In conclusion, Russell Sturgis's Architecture Sourcebook is a masterful exploration of architectural history and theory. Its engaging narrative 
expert knowledge, and vivid descriptions make it an essential resource for anyone interested in architecture. The book's chronological approach, comprehensive coverage of architectural styles, and rich visual elements combine to create a captivating and informative journey through the world of architecture. While it may lack coverage of recent developments in the field, its timeless insights into the evolution of architectural thought and practice make it a valuable and enduring contribution to the study of architecture.